Hello, this is your girl Fistology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. I am on VU today, and I will be showing you guys how to make a picture frame or a poster. Um, you could choose either or. Let's get started. So you want to have that GIMP opened up, because you're going to need GIMP to resize whatever picture or whatever poster you pick out in Google. You want to have Google opened up as well. All right, let me show you guys exactly where and who I'm going to be deriving from. I noticed that this person is only selling their stuff for cheap. It's super cheap. So when people see that you have cheap posters or, you know, just anything cheap in general, they tend to go for that because a lot of people like to budget themselves on VU. Some people don't, and others do. So I cater to people who can afford or who, who doesn't have to go out their way to spend too much money to buy my products. So I decided to click on the I here, and then you go to more information. And let's see what's going to happen. It brings us here. Now, originally it brought me, let me show you guys where it originally brought me. It brought me here. And then when I want to see a cheaper place that it derived from, aka where it came from, I clicked on derived from, clicked over here, and it brought me to this. So... It says 20, 256 times 256. So that's the size you want your actual image to be. Whatever image or artwork you decide to pick out. If you're going for the poster look, that it needs to be 20, 256 times 256. Same thing with the artwork. So, I'm going to click on this. Or you could always click on derive from product, which is the easier way to do it. You don't have to do all this, but I do it this way for beginners. Control C. Sometimes this takes a longer to load. So that's the reason why I don't click on it, but my computer is different from other people's computer. Let's go. So as you guys can see, I put in the product ID number and nothing pops up. But that's not a bad sign. That that means that we need to put the image in the texture spot. Remember to do 256 times 256 for whatever image or poster you decide to use. Okay, so let's go into Google and pick out some artwork. Oh, definitely click save too. All right, so I'm definitely into watercolor art, so I decided to pick from one of these. Look at this. These are beautiful. There's so much detail into it. I, oh, I love this. I love this. What others may find creepy, I don't. I, I find this really beautiful. Gorgeous. And there's so many different eyes that you can pick from. But this is nice. I like that. It's really cool. Now keep in mind, this is other people's artwork. So you definitely want to either name it their artwork or give them credit for it because otherwise that would be called stealing. I'm just giving you guys examples of, you know, different artwork that you can use, but just give credit to where credit is due. This is gorgeous. I like this, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to save it as art or art one, <laughs> art one. And as you guys can see, I have some other artwork up there. And JPG. Sometimes it doesn't save exactly the way you want it to, so you want to put JPG. But these are beautiful. Like that is gorgeous. And a lot of people use these artworks for the houses that they 
decide to buy on VU. So just keep that in mind. Wow. So I'm just going to use the ones that I have as an example, but you get the you get the drift. Basically, whatever type of art you're into or whatever posters you're into, just type it in. Look up which one ever, whichever one you want, save it, and we're going to resize it in GIMP. So size that in GIMP. So we're back in GIMP. Let's resize these pictures that I picked out. I'm going to pick out two. That's one of them that I really love. And here's another one that I love. I'm going to resize these images. So I go to image, scale image. You want to unclick this 256 times 256. Scale. There. You want to save it by overwriting it. And you do the same for the other image. And click this. And scale. And you want to overwrite. Export. I'm going to zoom in for both of these to 100. And I'm going to zoom in here to 100. So you guys can see it. So this is gorgeous. And this is also gorgeous. So both of these are potential artwork. Now let's go into VU and see what it looks like. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put in the texture. Let's see the Afro art. There you go, it showed up in the background. Say, there is a poster that I just created. That is gorgeous, actually. That's really nice. I, I actually like it a lot. Now, let's see what the other poster looks like. I'm going to... Gorgeous, and we just created a poster. I'm gonna save this. So, this is how you do it. We just created a poster and it was super quick and easy. Um, if you guys liked the video, that would be great. Um, definitely thumbs up, like, thumbs up, whatever it is. If you need to comment down below, definitely comment down below. Uh, and subscribe to the channel. You will learn a lot from me. So, definitely subscribe. And no question is stupid. So, definitely comment down below if you need to. And I will see you guys next time.